In this video, we're going to be walking you through how to add showing instructions to your listings. For those of you that are just getting started with Broker Bay or are a part of a brokerage that's about to launch Broker Bay, this is single handedly the most important part about setting up your Broker Bay system so that your listings run smoothly. When you first log into the platform, you're going to be met with your dashboard. And on your dashboard, you're going to see your active listings that you will potentially want to add showing instructions to. And under your tasks section, it'll also prompt you to let you know which of your listings are missing showing instructions. So an easy way to get to each listings showing configuration page is by clicking configure instructions in your tasks, or you can go to your listing by clicking on the listing and we'll prompt you at the top that, hey, showing settings for this listing are not configured. So a couple of ways to get to the showing settings, showing configuration screen. Let's now walk you through how this all comes together. And it looks like there's a lot of switches and colors and options, um, which there are, but it's actually very simple. If you just read the label of each section, you'll know what it does. So for example, I would like this property to have a minimum notice period of 24 hours, or maybe six hours or five hours. Whatever number we put here, this is gonna stop showing agents from booking, whether it's through the MLS, through the Broker Bay mobile app, or through the Broker Bay live appointment desk if you have the live appointment desk representing your listings. Great. I want the maximum showing duration for this listing to be 30 minutes because I don't want people in there um, for one hour. So choose the minimum showing notice, the maximum showing duration, and you can also choose if you would like overlapping showings to be permitted. Um, so if you're okay with people being in the property at the same time as other people, you can turn this switch on and you can even choose to notify agents when their showings are overlapping. And this will send a message um, to any showing agents that they're gonna be in the property at the same time as somebody else. Fantastic. The most important part about setting up your listing is deciding how you want approvals to happen on showings that are being booked. So there's three options here, and these three options will be able to address any situation that your listing finds itself in. First and foremost, maybe you want a seller who's living in the property or who's going to be involved in approvals to, um, to be approving showings. So if you want your seller to approve showings, select the first option. If this property is vacant and you just want, um, or you know your seller is going to be out of the house, um, you could set this property to auto confirm. And auto confirm will confirm every showing the second that it's booked. So no one needs to approve them. Um, it's a vacant property. You can simply set it to auto confirm. The last option is listing agent to confirm. And this is for those of you that are want to be in charge yourselves um, for all showings getting booked because maybe you're going to be present at every showing. So pick and choose the option that is relevant to your listing. Now, um, you will also see a section underneath it called administrative instructions. And it says very clearly, these are internal. Here's where you can write things that you don't want anyone else to see, but the Broker Bay Live Appointment Desk, should you be subscribed to the Live Appointment Desk, or to the staff at your brokerage or for your team administrator. No one can see these instructions, but staff and our Live Appointment Desk. So you would write something like, if you contact Mary the seller, Please speak loud. She can't hear that well. So this is um, a note that you're leaving internally for anyone that might contact your seller directly um, from the Broker Bay Live Appointment Desk team or from within your office, um, that, like a staff person. If you set this property to auto-confirm, you might write something like property vacant, no, con no confirmation necessary, no, um, uh, no instructions, or property vacant, go and show. So these are just good instructions to solidify how you want this listing to be managed. All right, but in this case, let's say Mary, um, let's, let's go with the previous one. If you call Mary, speak loud, great. All right, now we're gonna talk about the instructions that we wanna give to the showing agent. So we want the showing agent to access this property via a lockbox. So maybe it's a combination lockbox and the code is one, two, three, four. Um, so in every confirmation, we'll actually share this lock combination lockbox. But also, Broker Bay has the most advanced electronic lockbox integrations with all of the major providers. So Supra, CenturyLock, and MasterLock. And the way this works is you need to tell Broker Bay which lockbox 
you'll be putting at the property. Every lockbox has a serial number. And you'll notice when you click on any of these um, brands, if your account has any associated lockboxes, you're gonna have to select the lockbox that you're putting on that property so that Broker Bay can generate access for that particular lockbox. All right, let's say your lockbox is in a weird position. You can also add a lockbox photo so that the showing agent can see exactly where your lockbox is located. So I'm gonna upload a photo and I'm actually gonna draw on it. So I'm gonna let every showing agent know that this lockbox right here is mine. So that's gonna actually be delivered to every showing agent when, they're confirm when their showing is confirmed. Fantastic. I'm gonna give some other instructions like my card is on the back. Call me if you have any issues. Fantastic. So these instructions here, like turn off lights, call if you're late, beware of the scary dog, will all be delivered to every showing agent when their showing is confirmed. Fantastic. So in this particular um, setup, because we said that the seller is to confirm showings, it's also imperative that you add the seller as a listing contact. And there's no limit to how many contacts or tenants you can have on your listings. And I'm going to add a contact here. And my contact name is going to be Mary Johnson. Her email is going to be Mary at Broker Bay or, or at client email.com. And I want to send her emails, but I also want her to get text messages, maybe even to two different phone numbers. So feel free to add your client's contact information here. And also, if you have subscribed to the Broker Bay Live Appointment Desk, feel free to check off that the live appointment desk must call your seller, this particular seller, for all important updates regarding showings on their property. So uh, be cognizant that if you click this off, um, that, you, that our call center will be always calling your seller for every update on their property. But in this case, maybe I just want my seller to get their own emails, their own text messages, whenever something is requested, confirmed, canceled, denied on their property, et cetera. So we're gonna send your seller a bunch of different communications as actions are being taken on their property. So they'll be automatically updated, as will you. You also have the ability to give each and every listing contact their own permissions. So if you want this one particular seller to be able to confirm their own showings through, the broker bay, through their own Broker Bay portal, you can turn this on. You can give them permission to deny or cancel, or even to soft suggest better times directly through the broker bay portal so that they can ask showing agents to rebook for a specific time on another day. Fantastic. The last thing that I'm going to set up on, so you could set up as many contacts as you want with different permissions and notification settings. Know that you as the listing agent will always be notified and can always take actions. And then the last thing I'm going to set up on this listing are the availabilities and restrictions. So by simply clicking and dragging your cursor, you can tell Broker Bay that, you know what, I don't want any showings on my listing before 8 a.m., no showings before 9 a.m. on Saturdays or whenever that is. And so showings will only be able to book on your listings during these available time slots. One handy tool I'm also gonna show you is what we call granular automation. So let's say your seller tells you that they're gonna be out of the property Monday through Friday from 11 to two. You can now program that in the system by selecting auto confirm, highlighting 11 to two, or whatever combination you'd like, so that any showing booked during these time slots is automatically confirmed. Any showing booked during a white time slot, the seller will have to give their approval and no one will be able to book during a red time slot. I hope this is helpful. Um, this is um, a great introduction to how to configure your listings. This needs to be done on every listing um, so that they run smoothly, so that people can book showings through your MLS. And most importantly, you need to add showing instructions to every listing before your brokerage goes live with Broker Bay. Thank you for listening and talk to you soon.